This morning's top story, the worldwide computer outage that disrupted air, travel, health care, banking, and communication systems. This morning, companies are seeing signs of recovery after spending most of Friday scrambling to get past the so-called blue screen of death. The issue was caused by a faulty software update from CrowdStrike. It affected computers running Microsoft Windows. The company says it's working on a fix and that the issue was not caused by a cyber attack or a security breach. Michael George is here with the latest. Michael, good morning. Jeff, good morning. There were 49,000 flight delays and cancellations yesterday. A lot of people are still waiting for their flights. And all this happened as airports are busier than ever in the U.S. But this outage didn't just hit the airlines. CrowdStrike's clients include everything from small businesses to the Department of Homeland Security. While airports filled with inconvenienced passengers... It kind of sucked because we were in line for like almost an hour just to get to the, the pre-check. Behind the scenes, in cyberspace, there was a larger threat. When the system goes down, when you're trying to fix it, you're vulnerable to nation-state interference and other things that could have happened. So uh, a bad guy can exploit the vulnerability very quickly and create problems even bigger than, than the programming error. Austin, Texas-based CrowdStrike was responsible for the programming error that hit in the early hours yesterday morning, affecting banks, communications, and health care, where dependency on electronic medical records left some doctors and nurses paralyzed. We do everything on our computers now. People's medical history, their allergies. So when that goes down, we have to revert back to paper charting. New York's Memorial Sloan Kettering postponed all procedures requiring anesthesia. Atlanta's Emory Healthcare delayed certain types of surgeries. And Seattle's Children's Hospital closed its outpatient clinic. Look, it was a code red situation for CrowdStrike. It's the biggest global IT outage that we've ever seen in the world. And definitely a black eye moment for CrowdStrike. George Kurtz is CEO of the company, which is valued at $83 billion. We'll do the hot wash on how this happened and ensure it doesn't happen again. By afternoon, airports and other computer dependent services saw an easing, but the disruption is likely to ripple through the weekend and now raises a question about a system so vastly dependent on a single company. You're in trouble, but the overall vulnerability, the fact that you put all your eggs in one basket, for instance, might be something we need to take a look at. And while CrowdStrike did put out a solution to the problem, here's the issue. In a lot of cases, it requires companies to manually reboot every single computer. So that's not easy, and it's not fast either. As they said, you need the boots on the ground to actually fix some of these things. You can't just do it necessarily in the cloud. Yeah, so it was unbelievable it's... watching some of the people in the airports as they're like manu they're calling out, OK, anybody for Boston? And then they'd one at a time doing it. We just Handwriting, forget. boarding passes, it was a mess. Yes. You think about all the things we take advantage, we take yeah. for granted these days. Ubers and then when yesterday? it's not there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just look at, at the bad actors who are looking at this as a blueprint. We are so vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. All right, Michael, thank you very much.